All right, so here's an explainer for the quick question I posted sa ating Facebook page. If you're not yet uh, aware of that, I have a Facebook page. It's www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. And that's where I post these free questions. I try to post at least one a day. And uh, when I notice na most of you get it wrong or mas marami pa rin yung mali, or I notice na yung topic na yun gives you a hard time, then I spend more time with that. And uh, this is no exception. So, just earlier today, I posted this question. Uh, it's a logic question using yung words na all and only na na-discuss ko na in my earlier videos. If you haven't seen those videos yet, you can click up here uh, to catch up. It will be best if you watch those videos first before you even attempt this question kasi mas maguguluhan lang kayo. And uh, I posted this today, and I noticed a lot of you got it right na, and you answered the correct answer. Pero malamit pa rin ang nagkakamale, and uh, that just means one thing. Ibig sabihin kailan tayo pag-usapan kasi hindi pa kayo masyadong confident about it, or hindi pa kayo masyadong um, masyadong master, hindi nyo pa na master masyado tong technique na ito. And that just means that you need more practice. Now, I'm not just showing you guys my face because I'm still in the process of recovering. And uh, that would be um, that for now. Muna habang uh, patapusin lang natin yung Christmas season. But uh, that doesn't mean that I'm not working on stuff for you guys. So this is no exception. Uh, kahit na nagpapahinga ako, I noticed na sayang yung learning opportunity for this. So, if you don't know na meron tayong Facebook page at first time ninyo nakita itong question na ito, I'm going to give you a few minutes. And I'm going to give you one minute actually. Just one minute to try to answer this question. So, you can hit pause now. If you naman uh, already tried to answer this and you just want to go ahead and watch the explanation, just skip ahead uh, to uh, after one minute and then you can watch the explanation. Alright? All right, let's see how you did. Okay. Now, regarding this, again, we have two rules. Ang rules natin ay, number one, you have to take it one line at a time. And number uh, number one is that tuning the boy does not apply. And then number two is you have to take it one line at a time. So, ang pinaka best way is for you to mark one line at a time. Take it one line at a time. So, first na statement na minigay is this. All boys are guys. So, pag sinabi natin all, Okay? Ang drawing natin ng all boys are guys looks like this. All boys are guys. Sunny side up na itlog. Okay? Ibig sabihin ng lahat ng boys ay guys, pero hindi lang sila ang guys. Pwede merong iba. Okay? And that is the same for our uh, official drawing. Okay? So, ilalagay ko lang siya dito. Again, this one, I do this just so you can see. Okay, yung difference ng bawat line. So, all boys are guys. Palitan ko lang yung color ng aking pen just so you can see it a little bit better, visualize it a little bit better. All boys are guys. Alright? That's how it looks. Ngayon, dahil tapos na tayo dyan, we can move on to the next line doon sa ating question. Okay? Ang next line ng question is that only men are Guys, again, the keyword here is only. When we talk about only, only men are guys, ang ibig sabihin nun, nilagang itlog or isang circle lang siya. 
only men are guys. So, kung sino yung M, sila rin ang G. Kung sino yung G, sila rin ang M. And then, what we're going to do next is itong circle na ito is pagsasali natin siya dito sa ating official na, na diagram. Ngayon, dahil meron na G dyan, there, pwede na lang natin ilagay na kung sino yung mga G, sila rin ang M. Okay? Bakit? Kasi again, may existing na tayo na G na circle. So, ano yung sabihin nun? All of these, lahat ng nasa loob ng bilog na ito, itong malaking bilog, lahat yan ay men at guys. Okay? Pero still, hindi lahat ng boys ay guys or men. Now, that we have that, and uh, na-visualize natin siya, nakikita na natin siya, we can move along to yung actual na problem. Again, you have to master drawing this. And if you have a copy of the workbook, go ahead and check out pages 33 and 34 ng workbook number 1. So you can see kung paano ito is or practice more by yourself. The answer key will be there too. Okay. Now that we have this, we can go ahead and see dito sa problem ito kung ano yung, bin ano yung binigay. Ngayon, papahitan ko lang ng coloring pen ko dyan just for you to see it again. No? So gawin natin siyang magenta. Yan. So if Gary is a man... Which of these is definitely true? Again, when it says definitely true, so logic means 100% true. Walang doubt. Okay? Beyond the shadow of a doubt. So, ano lang natin to kay Gary? Ang alam natin is that Gary is a man. So, kung man si Gary, nasa loob siya ng bilog na man. Ano yung sabihin nun? So, ito M. Si Gary should be inside. Okay? Nasa loob siya. Hindi natin alam kung saan banda dyan, basta nasa loob siya ng bilog na M. Okay? So, what does that mean for this diagram? Si Gary, ibig sabihin nun, pwede natin dito ilagay si Gary. And Gary is a man will still be correct. Ngayon, pag nilagay ko dito si Gary, Gary is a man is still correct. Kasi importante lang, again, nasa loob siya ng bilog na green, eh, na blue. Okay? And since man, si Gary, pag nandito siya, man pa rin siya dito, then either wave can be true. Hindi ka nga lang sure kung nasan siya dyan. Kasi wala nang ibang describe eh. Okay? Hindi naman sinabi na Gary is a boy. Alright? So now that we know na may 50-50 chance ka, parang ganun, or at least may partial chance ka na B siya, M at G, o M at G lang, we can go to your uh, problem itself. The question is this. Hinahanap ang definitely true, ibig sabihin 100% true. Pag sinabi natin na letter A, Gary is a boy, if you look here, Gary may be a boy. Pero hindi ka sure kasi may possibility na kung nandito si Gary, man siya, guy siya, pero hindi siya boy. So, hindi to 100% true. So, hindi to pwede maging sagot. Okay? Again, when it comes to logic, don't just answer the first thing that you see. Okay? Now, I noticed doon sa ating questions, doon sa page, may, mara, may mga marami-rami din sa inyong nagsagot ng letter B. So, pag-usapan natin letter B. Gary is a boy and a guy. If you look here, again, Gary is a guy. Yes, definitely. Bakit? Kasi kahit nandito siya o nandito, guy pa rin siya. But, na pag-usapan natin in letter A, Gary is a boy is not sure. Hindi ka sure dyan. Okay? Hindi ka sure na uh, boy si Gary. Ang sure ka lang is that Man siya or guy. So, ano ibig sabihin? This is not sure, 100% sure. This is true. So, partial lang. Hindi 100% true yung statement. Pula tayo sa letter C. Gary is a guy. Now, palik alit tayo sa diagram. Kung nandito si Gary, Gary is a guy. Tama? Kung nandito si Gary, Gary is still a guy. Kasi nasa loob pa rin siya ng bigger circle. So, ano ibig sabihin? Nun? This is definitely correct. Ngayon, this is something that you have to do with logic, logic problems. Even if you see one of them right, don't just skip. Check the second one pa rin. Okay? Tinan nyo to. Gary is a guy but not a boy. Now, we already know that Gary is a guy. This is 100% true. Okay? Itong part na to na statement. Pero yung nakalagay dito, but not a boy. Now, again, I noticed a lot of you answered D then. Pag sinabi na 100% sure ka na he's not a boy, ano ibig sabihin nun? Ano ibig sabihin nun, Hindi posibleng mangyari ito. Eh, pero nakalagay dito, di ba, na it's possible to happen. Hindi ka lang sure. You're not sure. 
kung ito ay nakalagay but may not be a boy, okay lang. Pero dahil hindi nakalagay, ang nagay niya, ang nagay dito is that 100% sure ka na hindi siya boy, then this statement is unsure or hindi tayo sure kung ano yung sagot, kung tama ito o mali. So, ibig sabihin na hindi pwedeng D ang sagot. The correct answer is letter C. Alright? Now, again, it requires a lot of practice and that is why I'm going to try to post more questions like these leading up to your exam. And again, if you're attending one of the live review events or joining the online review program, I pay a lot of attention to this then. So, I hope to see you in one of those. And uh, if you want to hop, gra grab a copy of the review reviewer as, as always, you can go to the www.facebook.com slash team like to reach out to me and ask how you can get that. And uh, I ship that all over the country. Naman. So thank you guys for watching and uh, never stop learning. Basta practice na kayo na practice, alright? Um, God bless you guys. Aja aja kaya niyan and I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now.